A day after his arrest on corruption charges, Dean Skell is saying he's innocent and he'll continue to govern. Well, anyway, as we told you yesterday, the Senate Majority Leader facing six federal corruption charges. And now we're getting more details and learning more about what money can actually buy you in Albany. The complete outlines Skelos' connection to real estate developer Glenwood Management. It says Skelos helped get sweetheart deals for Glenwood and also an environmental company named Abtech as long as they paid his son Adam. By the way, Glenwood, one of the state's largest political donors, it also appears Glenwood is cooperating with the prosecutors. Look out for that. Preet Bahara and team, they are following the money, also following the phone calls. Bahara says Skelos and his son used disposable burner cell phones. Think about that now. Senate Majority Leader using burner phones to communicate because, of course, it's harder to track. Well, it turned out it didn't work. Uh, those phones were tapped anyway. In fact, at one point, Adam Skelos is heard, heard, I should say, in a wiretap saying, it's like bleeping, and trust me, he didn't say bleeping. Preet Bahara is listening to every bleeping phone call. Yes, rocket scientist, he was, and you said it on a tapped line. And now, calls are mounting for Skelos to step down at least from his leadership position. In an editorial called Skelos Must Go, the Times writes, like most public members, like most members of the public, we are sick of the sleaziness that serves as Albany everyday business. But many fellow Republicans are actually, and to me surprisingly, standing by Skelos. Kenneth Lavelle, chair of the Republican conference, said there's a presumption of innocence and Skelos should stay as leader. I should say, um, Scott, that uh, Mr. Lavelle also was not so charitable when Mr. Silver was on the hot seat after <laughs> indictment. Explain to me how Republicans aren't quickly trying to move this guy from leadership. What's the upside to keeping him as one of the three men in the room? I can't explain that. That's that makes so sense. complicated. <laughs> there are now three or four senators who have said he should step down, including Senator John Bonacek from uh, from uh, Orange, County. Orange County. Yep. So there are senators who believe that. And, and you know what? It's not the question of innocence before proven guilty. It's a question of how you get work done at Albany. And I don't understand. Dean's a nice guy. I mean, he really is a nice person from my experience with him. But you can't be a leader negotiating high-level issues when you're, you're focused and you're, you know, you're being indicted. It just doesn't make sense. And I, really and I think I believe that he thought about stepping down as leader. I just think uh, other things happen. He may still do that. Can mm -hmm. I also add is that this is an evolution, and this happens in every case. And people should remember Brad used to be a prosecutor uh, in his former life. Yes, and, uh, and I still think with the prosecutorial brain, and I know where this goes. It's, I know the movie. We've seen it all before. Mm -hmm. he, he first says that he's going to continue in, in leadership. Everyone supports him, and then everybody starts getting back to their, you know, their elected representatives, and they say, you really can't have a leader like that, and then they start to uh, break As off. As a Long Island and guy and a former prosecutor, somebody yeah. who knows how the political system works, two things. One, do you really think this happened in a vacuum and nobody else was participatory other than the Skeloses? And the fact that Glenwood's cooperating in the prosecution, as big a fish as they are in Albany, does this go much wider than the Skeloses? Well, if it does, I think there would be allegations because it's been reported that eight of the nine Long Island Republican senators have had have been are being in, currently being investigated. I don't know if that's true or not true. They're called before the grand but jury. I don't yeah. know if they're being the, investigated. I okay. think there were more just um, there uh, they were looking for testimony, right? Yeah. Look, there there are there are questions about some of the electeds, and I'm not sure that any more charges will be brought. But what I can say is that I think what's happened with Dean Skelos, as it happened with uh, Silver, is that these allegations are specific to their particular, you know, their particular but, but case. But on a broader level, Brad, it speaks to how business is done in Albany. And to me, at least, none of this surprises me. And Dominic's going to have a heart attack because he's going to call me naive. But I would have figured Skelos would be more sophisticated than this. The idea I want to that you're trying here. to, like, hey, do me a favor, hook up Junior over <laughs> here with, and, oh, we didn't like it. Because the bribe's not enough. We're going back. Double up the offer here. We didn't agree on six. We wanted 11. I want to give you another perspective on it. And, you, and, and look, this There's is a no father and to... son, only child, okay? Please don't and tell he me he's adopted. And I you know see, he's, that's and, not and, a factor. And you here. see the, the child continue to go to the father. The emails in every case were sent to the father and asking for help, asking for help. And, you know, how can we do this? How can we do that? And... You know, we don't know how long it's been going on that Adam's, you know, maybe needed a boost in life. And I'm not saying that it's right. 
But if you ever have a son, if you ever have a child, you ever have someone that's got a problem, and you desperately as a parent want to try to help out, there are times that some people may swerve into the other lane and, okay. you've and got, do okay, that. You've got me totally little? turned around yeah. on this. I, was, I, I don't you expect know, to. Yeah. For, I don't expect to, but there's some Skelos people step. that would... Let's I'm make not, it's not that I'm a greaseskeeper I mean, trying no, to get the guy on a lawnmower here. I'm trying to get him to I'm say not, dollars. What I'm just you know? saying is that there is a perspective... <laughs> That, you, that people should look at, and it's... You have a nice yeah. sympathetic part here. But, but yes. sure, there, there's, a, there's a much bigger issue here. This all stems from the Moreland Commission. All of this comes from the Moreland Commission. There is more there to it. We've got two out of three in the room. <laughs> Now. And Hastie's not even clear, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> this whole thing was part of the Moreland Commission that was shut down. Why was it shut down before this all came out? There is much more to this. This is yeah. not the end. They are specific to the each case. Before I run out of time, I want to ask you two guys at the end. We've heard the whole debates about pensions and people should be eligible or not. And again, this is they have to have their days in court. If the allegations, if the indictments are proven true against both Silver and Skelos, should these guys as Richard Brodsky's maintain, still get their pensions because of their... Of course they should. Real. You cannot change the rules in the middle of the game. Well, first what, of all, they what, had a chance to, what, what, and they what, backed off and what, all What they may have done legally is despicable, and they may be looking at serious jail time here, but you cannot change the rule in the middle of the game. But, Dominic, I'll say it to you, Andrew, there is a public trust. You didn't go into something... They... they they took taxpayer dollars for salaries and everything else, and they knew when they went into it. And they were leadership, Dominic. They so went there for the two law. months. So change the law. Well, they tried to until well, all of a sudden they got they a little should, gutless. I think they should change the law. The longer you've been there, the more power you accrue, the more you know how to manipulate the system, and also the more you should have known better. So no, I don't think they should have their pensions taken away. You want to keep, or I don't think they should keep their pensions. You want to keep your pension, don't break the law, don't break the public trust. And again, we have consensus on another subject. And we want you to get involved in our conversation. Head over to Facebook and Twitter and sound off on our question today. Should Dean Skello step down as state senate leader? All right, up next here, talk a little sports. Isaiah Thomas, he's coming back to the garden. And before you Nick fans go apoplectic here, no, this time, it's to run the WNBA's New York Liberty. WNBA, that's the Women's Basketball League. Anybody remember exactly what Isaiah Thomas did when he was in the Knicks and what Dolan had to do with a $10 million check? Well, Dolan may have a short memory, but we don't. We'll talk about that after this.